Here's my project YJ. <coughs> Getting ready to do the poison spider trail cage. That's what it looks like. There's the boxes they sent it in. Definitely packaged them pretty well. This is going to be a. That's for the spreader bar. He's got everything torn out, but it welded up tonight. Poison spider trail cage. That corner. Yeah. See, because this way it's too yeah. long. So you go this way. Right. And it braces, like you said, braces right in that corner. Because there's that down pressure. Right. And with it just welded here, you can still bend that ear in. But oh. once you get this gusset in there, you ain't going a little more. In fact, little pieces. And it's just going to be stitch weld. Yeah, I'm going to go about an inch past this. <clears throat> How pretty that is. It's a nice weld. <laughs> you see on this Damn one. It. <coughs> that's what thing welded up. So that you can weld that either one straight line or your mark it in intervals and it doesn't have to be welded the whole way. Right. So what I'm going to do is actually skip around. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to weld here, probably weld here, then weld there, then weld here, then weld there. Give it a break, go to that one, let it cool down a little bit. And then go back to that, or do what I did to this one over there, and then come back and finish this one off. And then that's that going to keep it from working. Yes. So, tacked in, and the center piece fell out. So we're looking for another ratchet strap. So we're going to need a ratchet strap to go across this way, and then another one to go front to back. Keep those in. Also, a little more gap than I like right there. Can't seem to get them fit. That will weld up fine. Definitely some gaps. the poison spider trail cage for the YJ finished got it welded up last night so to recap what we had to do you know this plate here bolts this had this bolts in but this has to be welded on first and then you got your plate that's probably the most time-consuming of the whole project you do have to weld in these gussets and they come with it and then you do have to weld here, here, 
And then there's another piece back here. Has to be welded in. And then once you find, you have to find center on it so that you can get this piece in. So we'll get that centered. Probably the most difficult part. And if I can piece this video together, I have little short videos of welding it in. That these bars here in the center, to get them center, you have to find center on the factory cage. And then ratchet strap this way and then a ratchet strap across this way to hold everything in. Um, it does have a pretty good gap, which, you know, so you are able to get to your windshield brackets if you need to. There's plenty of room in here. Um, the bars in the center actually leave quite a bit of room. They're, actually, they're as high as the, the rear roll bar. These factory bars are actually lower. Um, one problem we did run into was I wanted to put the handles on, but the handles that the grab handles they sent me just don't line up. It doesn't matter. I've tried so many different things to get them the notching. Just I think they either sent me the wrong ones. Um, I, I can't get those to work in there at all. So we don't have any grab handles in there. Um, but I'll be taking those back. There's an overview of the back. Um, and then poison spider tailgate and trail corners. Yeah. Poison spider, yeah. send me some hats or something. So this, the back one was actually pretty easy. So it was probably the easiest part of the whole project. And you set this one in where as far back as it goes and then square these up with the front ones, tack them in and then weld them. It really wasn't too awful bad. And then the overview. Um, the one thing that I did notice, lose use of your emergency brake. It's kind of a bummer. Um, plenty of leg room in there though. It doesn't, I drove it, didn't have any issues hitting the clutch. Um, I am gonna try to find some sort of a uh, molding or something to go on the outside of these because that is kind of a sharp edge. Um, just something to run on there. And then, um, so we're getting ready, I'm going to drop the windshield and tape everything off, get it painted. You can see how much in the back, I really like how much it does in the back. Um, the reason I went with this instead of a full cage is I have Tuffy boxes that fit here and over there and with a Poison Spider or Genrite or even a, a homemade roll cage they don't fit because they have gussets that come down and they don't work so it fits well with my factory roll bar so for the the cost of this which the notching was pretty decent everything there was some gaps but it wasn't too awful bad it was actually pretty quick and easy it probably took us oh probably about five hours to weld it all up so not too awful bad um, you know take your time and make sure you got a helper it's, and that was all welded with a 110 welder so you know you don't need to have a big fancy welder to do it it might get some better thicker welds but um, you know a lot of unbolting and rebolting and dropping the windshield that sort of thing and then you know the hardest part is making sure that these are square and center um, and so far it looks pretty decent I, I like it so, so I'm gonna try to piece some of these videos together and I'm gonna get it all painted up get some stuff in there and I'll start adding to the YJ project <laughs> and again poison spider Got a lot of your stuff on here guys and I'm back at it. It's another update on in order to paint this so I don't get paint all over my dash and undo everything. And of course, I have one bolt that didn't want to come out. So ground it down, drilled it out. And then the only way you're gonna be able to do it 
<coughs> unless you have an A-frame, which I don't, and I don't really have any help, so all I did is lift it so that this piece is normally resting on here. So just lift it up that and enough. And then the big old boxes that they give you. So what I'm gonna do is uh, something like that. Spray paint it and that way I can get the back of it and I'm not spraying my dash. And then uh, I'll drape something over and paint that part of it. So just an update. That's probably the most involved part of it is getting everything on bolt and then get it painted. I'm trying to get it done while the weather's nice so that I can get it in there <coughs> and get it all buttoned up. So that's it for now. I'll be back when I get it all painted. So we have an update on this roll cage. I got it all painted to spray paint. I used some self-etching primer on it and then uh, <coughs> once I got it painted and it dried and then trying to get the windshield you have to do the top bolts in your windshield first so get them started on this side go to the other side get them started then tighten them up come over here if if you don't, if you do this, the windshield isn't going to line up. So you do the windshield first, and then this is going to have some up and down movement if you need it. There's 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 movement um, room for movement on here, but there's not movement uh, room for movement up here. So <clears throat> get those tight and get do one side go the other, and then tighten them up. Then come in and do your your bolts. And when you do these, I did the three. Then the two, I do the one in the corner, then this one, and then I do the large one last. Get them finger tight, and then go around to the the other ones and get everything started before you tighten everything up. And that's going to keep it so the, the roll bars, um, everything lines up. Because if you get one side tight, it's, it, it times the spreads out. So if you look back here, <coughs> come over here. No, oh, I'm trying. You see the... The hole right here yeah. and the, the screw holes aren't lighting up oh. uh, you come up here so we can see come up, look down in there yeah it's good back up there you go and this side over here is the same way it's not lining up at all so I'm gonna have to push this over get those started and get them in there um, so nothing else is tightened right now other than the windshield so that's just an update, a little, some hints on how to button it up. Um, I'm going to finish tightening it all up and then I might get another video. I'm going to start putting the stuff back together. It's been taking a little bit longer to get everything done. I decided to replace my wiper motor and that took a little longer than I expected. And, and then I got some lighting upgrades. So doing a lot of, a lot of runs to the store and a lot of extra stuff I wasn't planning on. But I figured I had the windshield down, I might as well do it. So. But it uh, shouldn't take me too much longer to get everything bolted up. And then I'm going to pull all the tools out of here, clean it out, and start putting the stuff back in. So that's it for now. And I'll make another video in the morning when I see where we're at.